What's up, dudes and dudes? It's the internet. My name's Seth, and we are finally back for some more Spiral Knights. <laughs> How you doing today, folks? I hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. I know that it's been a little while since we had some spiral nights because I've been super duper busy. I mean, what do I tell you? It's the same old story as always. Now, uh, one thing that I do want to ask all of you peeps, because you all seem to be like experts at this game, is there a way to accept all friends rather than doing them one at a time? Because seriously, it's very time consuming, which is fine. Hi, Woo Wee. Thank you very much. We're going to start off with a little bit of fan mail here uh, before we end up getting started. I added a couple people. There was also a bunch of like, hey, I'm a huge fan. Support to the videos and stuff like that. Thank you all so much for all that, by the way. Hello. Some types of items. And here's some stuff. Thank you. Blessing Lunar, whatever. God of Fury sent. Okay, a whole bunch of crystals. I don't even know what these are just yet. I know that you're supposed to feed them to your creature, though. Uh, quitting Spiral Knights for Trove. Here are some items. Whoa, okay. I guess I'll <laughs> read this. All right, so he's saying that he's quitting Spiral Knights because, unfortunately, the devs aren't really developing this game, and I don't know, some types of five-star gear. <sighs> it's beautiful. I wanted eight. One! What?! I mean, at least we get a crazy diamond gun or something, but thank you very much, Christ. I have no idea what those are. Hypo gives me a bunch of Irish stuff too. Uh, support to the channel. Don't be afraid to use the shield. Yeah, I know. I don't need to use the shield. That's why, because I'm so good at this game. Thank you for the support, by the way, dude. Something about the storyline. I don't care about the storyline in this game. And whimsicalism, YouTube content, something. Thank you very much for the support and the snowballs. <laughs> Okay, so uh, besides all of that stuff, folks, uh, off camera, I, we ended up getting to the right rank that we can finally end up equipping some of our gear. So uh, before we get started with all of that, I asked you all uh, what I should end up calling our little baby Scythe Jr. There was a whole bunch of different comments and stuff, and then someone said, Budge Budge, which made total sense to me. I'm totally calling him Budge Budge because that's Jub Jub reversed, right? Uh, and then outside of that, we got a whole bunch of swords. We got the hot edge that we could be uh, that we were already using. It's beautiful. Shocking edge somebody ended up giving to me. And then there's the spur right here, which looks like an absolutely beautiful sword. Uh, not to mention this fire tech gun thing. I don't know what any of these are, but they do look beautiful. Can I equip them in town? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, let's just go to the mission then. Bloop. Uh, this one? No, I think we're on this puzzle mission. No, we're on this one. Okay. Oh, by the way, lots of you were saying something about, like, there's ways to, like, decrease the loading times and stuff. Most of what I'm doing in this series is jokes, everybody. Uh, the loading time is not really that bad. It's mostly that they're very, very frequent. So, yeah. Oh, this sword looks beautiful, though. I really want to use it. Toy soldiers. That's weird, isn't it? Oh, look. <gasps> Ooh, it's a beautiful sword. It's got nice VFX, too. What's this? Ooh, our gun is a fire gun. I like it. And we still got our number one ability on Budge Budge the Idiot. I know he's got potential of being very powerful, folks, but it might take a little while. Oh my goodness, this thing's got insane attacks. No! Yes, you are sealed away forever. Okay, maybe they're not. <laughs> I don't quite understand. Oh, there was a bunch of secrets that we could have got on that side, I think. Right? Well, let's just go over there anyway. Oh, a bunch of items that I would have ended up forgetting as well. Now, that's the thing, too, that is an unfortunate effect of uh, just playing so many different games, <laughs> is that uh, <laughs> I, I kind of forget the controls. Yeah, I, I forget the controls very often with a lot of the different games that I run because, you know, they're all very similar to one another, etc. Oh, I don't know why I thought I could throw over that thing or shoot over it. What? 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 Excuse me? Unless the secret switch is... What? What are we supposed to do then? Aha! The pot always signa... Oh. The pot always signifies that there's something to throw it at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta get in there quick! Get out of the way, you weaklings! Seriously, man alive, this sword certainly did make us a lot stronger, didn't it? Like Jiminy Crockett. 
The fact that these enemies end up getting stuck in these zones while not necessarily taking damage from it? I mean, that's cheap. We get killed, why don't they? Shield bash, okay. Why, <laughs> you know something I've never understood? Why even though we're using the shield bash in our own localized game, why is it laggy? <laughs> Like why did, why why did, why did we go through the enemy and then it takes like five seconds for it to actually why is there a switch on the other side that doesn't make sense I don't know but anyways I'm I'm happy uh, I'm in a good mood today folks and glad that uh, also as far as these crystals people were saying uh, that sometimes there's secret switches under these things so it's a good idea to destroy them all unless you unless you were talking about those other crystals uh, previously at the beginning or something like that but I mean look at how much time we ended up wasting and yeah apparently these purple shards which of course are the coolest shards imaginable because it's purple but yeah apparently we do actually use those on our little creature. What the? It's a nine tails. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Our charge attack actually threw out a windmill. I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to see this. Windmill attack. Okay. He attacked in the wrong direction. That's weird. What's going on? There's so many bad guys. Get him, Budge Budge. Oh my goodness gracious. There's so many of them. Hey. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's beautiful, but shield bash. I will stun you, crazy fox of destiny. It's dead now. It can't hurt anybody, except for me. Damn! I don't even know what's happening right now, dude, but at least we've got a lot of swing to us. Like, geez, Louise. Who? I got through that with skill and nothing but a skill. <laughs> Just kidding, I suck at this game. Okay, you weird slimo freaks. Can we get him before he goes back into his eggshell? Delicious eggs. Yes, we can. What about his brethren? Haha, -ha, pretend that he doesn't see us. We're playing hide and seek with him. Okay, now we're not playing hide and seek anymore. I don't know why I just want to kill these extra guys, by the way, because they don't really, like, give us anything, do they? No, they don't give us any items, and they also don't give us any, like, you defeated all the enemies, you get a bunch of rewards, you know? Like, nothing like that ends up happening. Ah! Where did we, where were we supposed to go? This way. Switch. Yes? What the? Wow! Are we teleporting? Is somebody, I think I'm finally, I think I'm finally leveling up to expert level in this game, where eventually I'll just start being as fast as everybody else. I don't even know how that happened. But I'll take it. All right, freak. Weird special sword move. Oh my goodness, it two shots them. Did you see that? Because we hit him and then the tornado hits him while he's down for the count. Oh yeah, this is the best sword ever. Look at that, it's so overpowered. Man alive, but yeah, not to get all dramatic and stuff just from the messages I was getting. That's really disappointing that the devs are kind of abandoning this game. I mean, uh, granted there's like some fall event going on or something like that right now, but still, that's always very disappointing. It seems like the free-to-play games are always the first ones to go, isn't it? Like, unless it's a company that knows how to make like free-to-play games or something. I don't even know, who cares? I'm just enjoying this game as it is. Oh, and by the way, another person was asking too, will you eventually do giveaways in this game? I mean, the real question isn't whether or not I'll end up doing giveaways, it's will I ever end up getting to the point of this game where I'll have anything that's actually worth giving away? I mean, right now I've got some decent stuff, but that's just hand-me-downs from people, which I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> oh man, somebody's, somebody's whispering me, I can't reply to you, I'm busy, okay? Oh, we already did it. Well, that means that I get to reply to him. Okay, good. Did we get any special prizes today? Five crowns. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Sayonara and stay epic. Believe in yourself.